we as founders, we sat together one evening, we were already playing some other browser-based online games, and then we had the idea, why don't we create our own game? And we decided for a medieval setting, because at this time not so many medieval games were out there. And at this time one of our favorite games, and even today, is Age of Empires 2, which also inspired us a lot. So we released the game to about 20 of our friends after one month of development. And even though the game was very limited, initial reactions were very positive. So we already had the challenge um, about the ranking, who got more resources, plunder other players after a couple of while. And it was really like fun, even though we were only 20 players, just getting some better position in the ranking. So very positive reaction from our friends. After a couple of months of development, we removed the passport protection. And then our friends told their friends about the game. And more and more players joined the game and the reactions were very positive. So it was really fun to fight together and against other players. Um, yeah, it was really a lot of action going on with a couple of hundred players and the player base was growing strongly. I started playing Tribal Wars in January 2006. I played the German version Die Stämme on Server 5. I was quite successful, I grew fast and I was the type of player you cannot ignore, you either love or hate. Of course, I had my friends in my tribe, but also enemies, and I remember three of them, Clovadis, Ironfist, and Vendarion. As a player, I joined community meetings. I remember some from Cologne, Düsseldorf, and back in 2007, there was one in Vienna, so I went there. Um, I was late, uh, I had some communication issues, and when I arrived, everybody was already there, talking, exchanging, exchanging knowledge about the tribal wars. So I had time just to get an overview about the situation. And in one moment, I had the feeling that somebody is watching me. So I took a while and checked who. And then I saw three faces staring at me. So I thought, okay, let's see who is there. I get, got closer and I saw the name tags with nicknames Clovadis, Ironfist, Vendarion. Oh boy, that was the first thing on my mind. The second thing was, cool, they can't conquer my villages tonight. Eventually we became friends. We talked a lot about the strategies and about some plans. Friends in real life, of course, not in-game. In-game we still continue fighting. We took a picture. To remember that we met in Vienna and they posted the picture on their tribe forum with the title that's her. <laughs> I posted the picture on my tribe forum with the info the annoy most annoying players on server 5. Yeah and um, after 10 years I still uh, have contact with one of those with Clavadas. We are good friends. I started playing Tribal Wars uh, when I was 16, that would have been back in 2006 or so. I think I was just um, browsing some other games when I was uh, you know, trying to find something fun to do. Uh, I saw an ad for Tribal Wars and I think thought, hey, this looks pretty cool. I checked it out and you know, it looked like something that was pretty new and I hadn't seen before and I got uh, addicted pretty quickly. So I guess when I first started playing the game, not much changed for me, you know, in terms of my daily routine because I was more of a casual player and just, you know, playing it on and off and, uh, you know, not really too intensely into the game yet. But uh, the more I played, the better I got. And then I got involved in a kind of more serious tribe that had a more, you know, pro outlook on the game. And then I really started having to do things like stay up late to time my attacks or wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning because another tribe, uh, attacked me. So I guess for me there was quite a big change in my, my sleeping patterns and you know what I would have to do during the day. But uh, looking back it was uh, definitely a lot of fun and definitely worth it. I started playing Trial Wars in 2006. Um, I remember it pretty vividly because um, I was sitting in history class and I did not pay attention to uh, my teacher at all. I just saw some ad and then I started playing Trial Wars. So I got to the game by actually one of my classmates uh, showing me um, that they were playing this, this game that kind of looked like Age of Empires or so. And we play that a lot together when we were kids. Um, and then I just, you know, registered and started playing. I played on World 1 for quite some time. Um, and after a while, I restarted to play on the English International World for a short time, but then really active also on World 10 on the German market. 
I started playing Tribal Wars back in 2006, I think towards the end of 2006, on World 4, which was uh, on the international servers a few months after they started. At the time, I had been playing several other browser games um, and I added it to my collection of browser games. And what really got me stuck into Tribal Wars and made it a, a big part of what I was playing over the next few years was that I got really involved with my tribe and my tribe leader left. And he made me the leader when he left. So suddenly I had this huge responsibility for the players in the game. And that's, that's what really uh, got me into Tribal Wars actually. Once I got attacked by a player, and a few minutes later another player attacked me as well, I uh, figured out that the nicknames were very similar. That's why I had the idea that it's one person playing multiple accounts, which was forbidden by the rules. That's why I wrote a player request to customer support, and I got really quick reply and very satisfying help. So I continued playing after a while, I figured out that the person who answered my player request was the founder of InnoGames, Ike Klinvord. Imagine how impressed I felt when I figured out that the founder of InnoGames took time to answer my player request. I thought that it must be really amazing to work for a company which puts so much value on so close contact with players. When I joined InnoGames, um, I printed uh, this first player request I wrote with ICAS answers and I still have it to remember that the close contact with the community is essential. And I have it today with me as well. One of uh, a, spe a really special moment for me uh, in Tribal Wars, something that stuck with me for a few years and actually resulted in quite a few uh, friends as well, was in 2007, I got involved with a group of players who were putting together a, a tribe a few months before the world um, that we were planning on playing on would actually start. So it wasn't that we wanted to start on a specific world and, and start just our playing. The main goal was to put a group of people together that would work well together and then um, start together. Um, this was very special for me at the time because I they were all pretty good players and comparatively I was I was really really bad um, but it's just it was so much fun to spend the next few months with these guys uh, planning out how our our domination of this world would go and we we picked a fun theme um, we uh, discussed our plans for how we would handle the world we discussed uh, how we would interact with people on the forums uh, and, and talking about our tribe and uh, stuff like that and then um, Something that really stuck with me is when we actually started on the world, we started a few days after the world uh, had started and the center of the world had already filled up and when we dropped into the world, we were all around uh, the world. We were just making one big ring around the world. Um, this also fit our theme nicely and this led to a lot of really cool discussions on the forum like, oh, how, how long have these guys been planning that? And uh, it, was, it was crazy. So for me, the really interesting thing about Travel Wars was how it continued to be real time. So like usually for web games back then, um, you basically got some energy every hour or every 15 minutes, and then you could use your energy to do something and it will be done instantly. Whereas the Travel Wars, you could go into your headquarters, you could queue a building, and then it will keep on kind of processing in the background even while you were logged off or asleep. And you know, for every action you did and all the other players' actions, it was all kind of happening in real time at the same time. And for me, that was really like the unique selling point of the game because it was the first game that did that back then. What actually fascinated me about Trial Wars was uh, all the communication and all the connections that you could make. Uh, you know, I, I talked a lot with a lot of different people and chatted with them. You know, you, you started making these Skype connections and you started calling each other, you know, sitting on Ventrilo, if you remember Ventrilo. That was actually uh, really fun times. But that is one of the things that actually, you know, really bound me to the game. I remember the days um, when I was um, I was working here in-house um, as a product manager and uh, I was responsible for Travel Wars and we had a community meeting going in the Netherlands so I actually flew over there um, and I was actually responsible for cooking all the burgers and it was actually a very nice moment for me because I got this very special connection to like a hundred people uh, that were there at this at this community meeting and I was flipping their burgers, you know, that was a very nice experience. 
I've actually made several friends through the game, um, and I was lucky enough to be invited to uh, one of their weddings a few years ago. These were also people who had met through the game, and um, I, I really liked their wedding cake because they had integrated uh, parts of the Tribal Wars village into it um, as a reminder of how they actually met. Um, uh, there's those friends. Um, I've also met friends who later ended up being colleagues and we, uh, in, in some cases, we moved to Germany to work for Inno Games, and had known each other from the game already before that, which was really cool. So a special story for me with Tribal Wars would probably be how I met my best friend. Um, back when I was still a teenager and playing, I met another player who was um, pretty good at the game and we would just, you know, talk from time to time about the game and things like that. And you know, as we got to know each other, we carried on talking more and more until we're basically chatting every day. Uh, after a few years, we um, arranged to meet in real life because you know we become quite good friends, and you know we got on even more well then. Uh, fast forward uh, some more years, and we actually ended up moving to Germany together. And you know, she's now working here with me still, and you know we're still best friends. So for me, that would definitely be the the best thing that's come out of the game. So other than my best friend, I also met quite a few other people through the game. Um, some of them were involved in moderation, some of them were just players, but uh, I've definitely made quite a few good friends. Um, a few of them are even working here in the games now. And you know, it's really nice to have been able to move here and meet up with them and you know, turn an internet friendship into like a real life friendship. I have some friends uh, that I met through Trouble Wars. Um, Back when I was a community manager for Trouble Wars in Sweden, um, a lot of the people that actually worked with me as volunteers uh, at that time, I still keep contact with a few of those. Um, that's a nice connection to have, you know? Sometimes it hits me how much of my life has been shaped in one way or another by Tribal Wars. Um, first, I, I played it quite a bit in my teenage years, and later it's, it's the reason I moved to Germany to work for InnoGames. And it's, I don't know, it's, 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 it's just really interesting how so much of my life has revolved around the game or the relationships I built in that game or the relationships I built around that game over the years. Thank you very much to all of our players. It's a great achievement. I'm very proud of you that we have now a game running for more than 15 years. Um, over all the years you gave us so much feedback and I'm looking forward for your feedback also in the coming years to continuously improve Tribal Wars and make it a really great game running for so many years.